This week on Pure Brews America, Shannon goes where no beer TV show host has gone before. I feel like I need to get these clean. Plus, we get the stamp of approval from Congress. It's, it's passion in a bottle for a lot of people, and it's really cool to see that happen, and, and, and just a sort of a new artistic expression here in Michigan. I'm Shannon Long, and I'm stuck in a mastron at Rope Brewing Company, and this is Pure Brews America. All across America, the craft beer industry is exploding. I'm Ryan Terpstra, professional beer lover. And I'm Shannon Long, founder and CEO of Brew Export. Let us be your tour guides behind the scenes where we will meet the key players and the beer makers and learn how they turn their dreams into reality. We'll be traveling across the state to introduce you to some of Michigan's best beers. It's a craft beer revolution on Pure Brews America. So it's sort of like a, a well-kept secret in the neighborhood bar setting. I think it's cool. It's really cool to see it come alive as a new business in the area. You know, you know that you can come on in and get any flavor profile, any style you want, any kind of beer you can think of, and some you can't even think of because these guys are so creative. This is a destination. People should come here. This is a great brewery, making really good beer. People have been coming to Roke in droves, even though they have only been open since 2015. The excitement when people say, I just discovered this place, or it's an up and coming brewery, or I've never heard of this place, and they've already making you know fantastic beers. Everything we do is to try to brew the best possible beer we can brew. We, we haven't spared a dime on equipment. We don't spare a dime on ingredients. Uh, we encourage our brewers uh, to uh, seek out the best and, and only the best when it comes to ingredients. We're so new that a lot of people are just going crazy over it, you know, so, so the buzz is building. Because we want to give ourselves a shot at making a great beer. I'm not saying we make great beer, but we want to try. And that's our goal, is to make the best possible beer we can make. Once we get a year under our belt and, and the word finally gets out that we are producing some of the better, you know, better beers in Michigan right now. Roke is a young brewery, but they feature plenty of experience, including their head brewer, Brandon McLaren, who worked at Mountaintown, New Holland, and Founders before coming to Roke to make some fantastic beer. And I have a question for you. Okay, you don't look like your average brewer. You don't have a beard. You're kind of like, you're kind of clean cut. Yeah. I respect yeah, that. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. But what's up? You don't have a beard. Tell me why. I let, let it go every once in a while. We'll do like no shave November, but. Uh, Just in November. Uh, my wife, Dana, she's not a huge fan of the beard. Otherwise, I might let it go a little bit more. Wife. But, uh, <laughs> That's what it is. You now you go to the Craft Brewers Conference and everyone has their big beards. It's like, who has the biggest beard, you know? I'm going to have a bigger beard than you soon. <laughs> so people who haven't had rope beer haven't been to your tap room, what do you want them to know about your beer? I want them to know, you know, we're, we're trying to make a really good product. Our team, we're, you know, we're putting together, making some really good beer. Um, we want to do some fun stuff. We want to try different things out. You know, sharing it with people, um, making it, watching people enjoy your product and being excited about it is uh, really awesome. We want to push the limits and make some aggressively brewed beers, whether it's using lots of hops and stuff, but still have those beers be drinkable and tasty and you're going to want, you know, more than one. On the, you know, the note of brewing aggressively, I heard you guys need some help from an uh, aggressive person. Absolutely, so. yeah, we're always looking we for need things done. Um, today we're going to be uh, shoveling out the last bit of grain out of the mash ton here. So are you... Uh, and I have to get in there? You do, yeah, you ready? Ready to do this? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, so what do you have me doing today? So we, we got most of the grain out of there. There's a, you know, a small layer of uh, the rest of the grain. So we want to shovel it to the hole in the back of the vessel. There's a hole back here? Yep, that's our spent grain you know, outlet. Oh, I got it. I found the hole. <laughs> This is the mash ton. Yep. And what part of the brewing process is this? So this is the start of the process. We, we mash into this vessel with the grain, 
Um, we mix it with hot water, you create your mash. And then we give our spent grain to a, to a local farmer that uses it for feed. Oh, or, so like a cow or a chicken or something like that? Yep. Or my brother, maybe? I miss this spot, we gotta go back. Reverse. Into the hole. Yeah, as brewers, you pretty much spend more time cleaning than you do actually brewing. And these big reeks. Luckily, I don't think anyone out there hates me too much. But do you guys like lock this when you send people in? Absolutely, yeah, you have to lock out, yep. I know, that was probably a question I should have asked before I got in here. <laughs> oh my god. Does my hair look pretty? Looks good. First step two of the cleaning process. Ah! Oh yeah. Spraying the grain towards. Towards the hole. Yep. Oh boy. We're fine. Nice job. It's good. still not as done as I'd like it to be but it was fun. Anyone who wants to be a brewer, think of all of the cleaning and the not beautiful parts that come with it. Yeah. Props to you on your job, yeah, man. You're you. making killer beer, yeah, yeah. keeping things clean. All right. And now to relax after your hard work, you can go in the tap room and go have and a, get beer. a beer. You don't have to tell us twice, and Roke's tap room is unlike any other that we've seen on this show. I'm passionate for beer, but also love music, and so we jam out the classic rock pretty loud in there, and we have a lot of fun. And I think that uh, in, in the decor, that reflects that kind of opulent, fun uh, image that, that, that we got going on in there. What's also fun is the wide array of beers that you can try. So then, uh, you know, Livewire, that's, that's, our, uh, that's our, our, our lead beer right now. That's, that and Devil Dog are the two beers that uh, we can't make fast enough. Livewire is uh, it's, uh, it's an IPA, and I think it's just a delicious beer. So the next beer, Devil Dog, you know, uh, that's, uh, that's our oatmeal stout, 8.5%. Uh, we push the level of alcohol for an oatmeal stout, but, uh, but we like it that way. We, like, you know, we, we, we think that we brew our beers aggressively, at least that's what our, our, our motto is. I like aggressive. And, uh, and this beer, I think, is delicious. It's, it's got some wonderful flavors, it's a, it gets a, there's a great cause, we give back to the VA hospitals, of course the proceeds not only in the tap room but outside the tap room, so it's something that we're, uh, you know, we're proud of and, and happy to, to be able to give back via this beer. This is the uh, higher ground, which is the coffee stout, delicious, and the below your face out IPA, if you haven't had that, you should come and try it. It's really, really good. There's an IPA like on the menu right now called Blow your, your face, face out. out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we gotta get a we gotta get a sample of that because I need you to try that. Do you I like that kind I of beer. I love that kind of beer. That's like totally my. Do you want to get your your face blown yes. off? Blow my face off. Coming up with all these stupid things. Oh my god. It's really good. It's it is. It's really good. Roke not only has the support of the people but the local government as well. And the place is just a home run. I mean, it's, just, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's busy all the time. They have some really good beer. Such an asset to the community. We had a great time visiting with everyone at Roke, and since it's an election year, we figured we need an endorsement. I'm Jim Ellison, the mayor of the city of Royal Oak, Michigan, and I wholeheartedly approve this episode of PBA. Cheers!